Recently at Warhammer Fest, Forge World announced that the Horus Heresy would not be using the new 8th edition rules for 40k and would instead stick with 7th edition. Reactions among the community were mixed, with a number of existing 30k players saying they'd rather things stay the way they were, while a lot of other people, more excited by the streamlined hot new 8th edition rules, saw that as a massive disappointment. With this in mind, I want to take a look at whether or not starting the Horus Heresy, or 30k as it's also known, is a good idea right now. Forge World regularly knocks it out of the park with their 30k range, and each new release can seem better than the last. The level of detail and superb art direction surpass a lot of GW's own plastic models in my opinion, and the range is massive. You can also use a lot of the same models in 40k, and they'll fit right in with the Space Marine Army. The models are more or less future-proof too, there's no Primaris Marines in 30k. The problem with a lot of those models is that they're still expensive Forge World models. Although there are plastic sets offering a lower barrier to entry, for any vehicles or specialized units, you're going to need to get pricey resin Forge World models. The secondhand market is filled with shady recasters, and finding legitimate, affordable means of Forge World products is pretty much impossible. <laughs> 30k fortunately avoided the worst aspects of 7th edition 40k namely formations and a lot of the psychic powers that were game deciding on their own. Because everyone is drawing more or less from the same pool of units, plus some legion specific ones, the playing field as a whole is far more level. Seventh edition, while I had my fun with it, was a bloated, clunky, dated mess of a game, where flipping between pages to figure out rules interactions was so common it might as well have had a whole phase of the game dedicated just to itself. It's a murky and messy rule set, and with 8th edition out, it just makes 7th look that much older. One of the biggest draws of 30k is that it lets you fight out all the battles of the Horus Heresy, whether they be from the vast series of novels or the lore from one of the source books. There's a reason this setting has captured the community's attention since even before Horus Rising. The rules for each legion tie in wonderfully to their background, and building a thematic force is easy and fun to play on the tabletop. While I personally see the setting as the biggest, best excuse to mash armies of space marines together, for a lot of people the alien races are the big draw of the 40k setting. In 30k, the closest you can get are demon allies for the word bearers, or some of the weirder mechanical units. There's some Imperial Army elements too, but it's basically Space Marines or Bust. The Horus Heresy Black Books are lavishly produced source books, full of heraldry and marking color plates, original artwork, lore, missions, and pieces of photo art that look like they're ripped straight out of the 31st millennium. These books are beautiful, and even if the game disappeared tomorrow, they'd still be fantastic volumes to page through and read. Now on the flip side, these books are heavy as hell, pricey, and not exactly practical for gaming. There are smaller red books that are far better for actually playing the game, but even then you'll still be cross-referencing 3-4 books to get all your Legion rules straightened out. Like it or not, we're still in 7th edition here, with all the bloat that carries. In my experience, most of 30k's player base skews a bit older, and they tend to be more invested in the hobby aspect of things rather than the competitive side. At Adepticon, the standard of painting and modeling for 30k stuff was almost always higher than it was for 40k or Age of Sigmar, and to date, I can only think of one 30k game I've played where I wasn't on the same page as my opponent. This is a game for hobby diehards. Forty K, right this minute, is the most accessible it's ever been, with streamlined rules, an almost entirely plastic range, and multiple low-cost entries into the hobby. Getting a new player in is easy. Thirty K does have that same sort of cheap entry point with its two boxed games, but actually playing is a whole other problem. One of the reasons Thirty K did as well as it did was that it used the same rules as Forty K, and if you knew how to play Forty K, you knew how to play Thirty K. For a new 40k player, you'd need to find them a 7th edition rulebook and have them learn a somewhat similar but largely distinct set of rules just to play the game. On top of that, 
they'd need the Forge World rulebooks, which aren't generally available from your local game store. Chances are that the convoluted nature of a lot of 7th edition's rules will turn them off from 30k and make the streamlined 8th edition 40k rules seem that much more appealing. We're in an exciting time for 40k right now, and the new edition has definitely sapped my interest for 30k. Personally, I think it's only a matter of time before 30k makes the move over to 8th edition. This is just conjecture here, but the untimely passing of Alan Bly, Forge World's already small team size, and the recent release of Inferno for the Horus Heresy are probably all contributing factors to why 30k is staying in 7th for now. I do hope it does make the change to 8th, as making the game more accessible will be what brings in new players, and ultimately, what keeps the Horus Heresy alive. Thanks for watching. I hope I could help anyone on the fence about 30k with this. I'm personally leaning no right now, but I'd love to hear some counterpoints for my pros and cons here. Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing or supporting me on Patreon if you like what I do. See y'all next time!